In this edition of NSFW, we bring back our summer movie fantasy league. Me and Brian are joined by Sarah Lane Cargill, Tom Merritt, and Raygun01 himself, Jason Howe. We divvy up all the summer's movies, and we will see who is best set to take the summer. Also, Andrew Maine's got a big contest for his new book, The Grand Shadow, and we play an April Fool's Day prank that you won't believe. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 69 for March 29th, 2011. It's NSFW Summer Movie Fantasy League 2011. We are the Mini Club Mario. The back in his time to roll. And I got a fast sack, cutting coins to go. Got my 45 packs in my overalls. Step to me, Ultra OG. And then Ultra OG. Tune in my mind, and I'm feeling like I'm flying, but I'm a toad, so I am fine. Yes, I'm fine. Just cause I'm living a life of crime, and I get mine. Yes, I'm fine. Yes. I go by the Ouija, all the girlies wanna please me, cause I make it look so easy. I start with invisibility, yeah. Crazy, but my troopers never freeze me, and you better be crazy. You be pushing up daisies, I'm crazy. Cause I'm over the game so long, and still nobody plays me. I'm crazy, I don't really know, but I'm just a game over. Somebody call the plumber, cause when you want me, I'm gonna be a plumber. That means it's showtime. That's close enough to me. That means it's time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the weapon nets. I am your host, little old Brian Brushwood, joined as per the norm by my inimitable co-host, none other than Justin Robert Young. What is going on? The pixelated JRY. Ah, uh, Brian, I am super excited that we are finally have arrived at my favorite point, folks. The summer has begun. It is the NSFW 2011 summer movie draft and we are joined by the most epic cast we have ever had on this show beginning with your friend and mine Tomas, Tomas Marine, uh, Tom Merritt of course from TNT Frame Rate Forecast and every other show on the internet. How you doing Tommy? Doing good, Justin. Uh, I'm prepped. I've been. I, we had the pregame show on frame rate. Went through all of the different uh, movies. I feel like I have a, a feel for this. Uh, but it's my first time. It's my first time. I didn't. I wasn't uh, joining you guys last year. So um, I, I'm. I'm excited, uh, but a little nervous. Yeah, dude, we're talking about, seriously, we're talking about a rookie competitor here. Of course, we have somebody who's also a rookie competitor, also from TNT, somebody who has the ability to take down Tomas Marit. We're talking, of course, about the lovely and talented Miss Sarah Lane, stand-in for one Oscar Award Ooh. winner. Ooh, I look good, don't I? Beautiful. <laughs> very, very 8-bit, you know, because I'm hip. Well, you know what? I, I, I appreciate that you did that because we started off with the Mario rap. So, of course, you rolling with that. No, no, no. This is all on it. It's, it's on, yeah, no joke here. This is all on purpose. Um, this would be my very first draft of any kind. I have never been in a draft <laughs> at all. In fact, gambling scares me. So this should be interesting to say the least. Have you ever created a draft in Google Docs? It's kind of like that. No. <laughs> I don't even know what course, that means. That, of course, <laughs> also from TNT, Jason Howell. You know, it was a tough decision. We wanted to get people from all over the spectrum, but yeah. we also wanted people in the same office that we were hanging out in so we could talk smack all summer long. So, of course, we had to get Ray Gun 01, Mr. Jason Howell. How are you doing, Jason? I'm doing fantastic. I, like uh, Tomas Merit, I'm a little bit nervous, I got to say. Uh, looking through the list of movies that we're going to talk about, there's a few names that kind of pop out and stand out. But for the most part, I'm really clueless this summer. 
So uh, this should be interesting. Well, then you're just like the rest of us. <laughs> one person who I guarantee you is going to clean the floor with all of us is the one the guy who actually knows something about movies. I'm talking, of course, about Massaworm from, uh, from Ain't It Cool News, from Carlisle from Spill, none other than C. Robert Cargill right here in Austin, Texas. How are you doing? I am doing awesome, my friends. How about yourselves? I'm doing well. And I appreciate the fact that, like, I asked you on the show and you're like, yes. And then you get on, and like three minutes before we go live, you're like, so what are we doing again? How does this work? I, I guess we bid on no, no, that's not how it happened. How it happened was you said, now, uh, I'm going to have you on tonight to do the draft. Uh, you cool with that? I'm like, yeah, sure, that sounds awesome. And you, then three minutes before we start, you're like, oh, do you have any questions about what we're doing tonight? Yes. What are <laughs> we doing tonight? <laughs> See, that's an article of faith, my man. That's, what's, that's good. We, we do have a couple of things that we want to talk about before we start the actual bidding, but we got to go fast because I know we got a lot of movies to go through. And we'll explain the game for those of you guys who wonder what the heck we're talking about. We'll explain here very shortly. This is all part of our Summer Movie Fantasy League for 2011. You at home are going to be able to play along with us, and we'll explain how momentarily. But first, we have at least one shenanigan that we have to get up to. Justin? All right, Brian. This is going to be our last episode before April Fool's Day. So we had somebody uh, uh, contact us over the last week, and he has a great idea that we are totally going to get behind. Folks, I want you to go all the way over to birthdaybomb.squarespace.com. Again, that is birthdaybomb.squarespace.com. They are going to be setting a world record for a, uh, the biggest, uh, I think it's going to be the Facebook hoax. So on April Fool's Day, what they want everybody to do is change their birth date to April 1st of whatever year you were born. Because you know on Facebook, they list for every one of your friends, you know, whoever's uh, birthday it is, all of a sudden there's just going to be a solid uh, you know, Dostoevsky-style block of names running down everybody's Facebook page. And, uh, it, you know, confusion will reign and it will be hilarious. This so. is a great idea. And these people are very cool with sharing the credit for the whole thing. They're very aware. You can see that we're actually listed over here on the right-hand side as a friend of Birthday Bomb. This is a great idea. And my only regret is that we did not think of it first. This thing has NSFW written all over it. And I'm just sorry that we weren't the ones that thought of it. But we got to be gentlemen and we got to make sure that the people who got the idea get credit for it. Right, Justin? Uh, yes, absolutely, which is why I am looking up the name of Daniel Cerventus, who uh, is the mastermind behind all of this. And thank you, Daniel, for coming to us as your patrons of tomfoolery to, uh, to, to put this out there to the masses. So, folks, head on over to your Facebook and uh, change your birthday to April 1st and... Come April Fool's Day, everyone's going to, you know, fall out of their chair and break their face. By the way, Pretty Jumbles points out, yeah, that sucks for people whose birthday actually is April 1st. But you know what? <laughs> you want to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. That's all I'm exactly. going to say. You have to ruin a few birthdays. If there's anybody who's going to be understanding of a shenanigan on their birthday, it's going to be somebody whose birthday is April freaking 1st is what I'm betting, right? Absolutely. So there we go. Uh, Daniel Cervantes, thank you very, very much. And the... Uh, URL, once again, is birthdaybomb.squarespace.com. So and let's, of course, we'll, we'll bring you all the blow-by-blow blow of uh, how stuff went down next week on the show. Uh, the, the one other thing that we need to do is that, folks, there is a contest that has begun. It is currently in the works. Uh, if you don't listen to the Weird Things podcast, a friend of this show and our co-host on the Weird Things podcast is Andrew Main. He's got a new ebook out. It's called The Grendel Shadow. It's 99 cents on Amazon. Uh, folks, head on over there right now. Just uh, I'll, I'll post the link in the chat room. Uh, if uh, you like sci-fi books, then please buy it. It's 99 cents. You can get it on the Kindle store and any Kindle app or whatever. It's also on iBooks and uh, the Nook store. But uh, if you don't uh, want to buy it, then just hit like on the thing so you can help us out and it looks like a real popular book. It's super awesome uh, and we have a free audiobook reading of it on the new Weird Things podcast but what Andrew's doing is he's saying, hey listen, you know what gets a lot of people paying attention to books? Video trailers on YouTube. A hundred bucks is going to go to the person who has the best video trailer makes the best video trailer for the Grendel Shadow on YouTube. Uh, please use your imagination. Be serious about it or be silly about it. Whatever you want but a hundred bucks is going to go to the best uh, in two weeks, we'll uh, take a look over all the uh, all the people that have sent in stuff. Uh, send it to NSFW Show at gmail dot com, and uh, there we go. We, all right. We'll figure it out. And we do have one other thing. Uh, many people know that. Remember, remember back about one year ago when we made a crazy hit list. 
and we had like just a bunch of stupid names that would be amazing if we could get them on the show. Stuff we, we dreamed awfully big. And we basically we made this gigantic list and we kind of started from the bottom. And then we were shocked when all of a sudden we went like three quarters of the way up and got Greg Grumberg, right? Yes. And then, and, then yes. and it was just like that over and over and over. We got Mark Marin on the show. It was like, yeah. it was this nonstop hit. And then we sort of fell off on that. And then we hit a little thing uh, called the, the iTunes Best Audio Podcast of 2010. And we um, all of a sudden got interested in playing that little game again. And so I, I don't know if it was that we were comforted by the fact that we won that award or what, but uh, we, uh, we, we won a little something. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're doing on this preamble. Listen, you went to go see Red State last night. You really enjoyed the movie. You ran into Kevin Smith. You DM'd him and, and, and uh, told him that you would have walked up and asked him personally, but you couldn't. So you're asking him on Twitter, and lo and behold, Folks, you can look forward in the future, hopefully, be a soft book. We know how that can turn out sometimes in the show. But uh, uh, NSFW, yes. uh, Kevin Smith on NSFW. Yes, and, and, let me, and let me explain. Where we are right now is he has said publicly on Twitter that, yes, I will absolutely do the show when and where. Then he put me in touch with his publicist. His publicist D DM'd me and gave me her email address, and we're working out details right now. Uh, it is our hope that we'll be able to get him live on the show. It will be epic. SmenSFW. Hopefully you mean you mean you're gonna have me on to confront him? No. Okay. Well, I thought I you guys kissed and made up, Cargill. <laughs> we did. We did. Yeah. For those of you guys, I, we that hugged know, and made up. Cargill. Cargill wrote an article um, lamenting the fact that all of Kevin's success in podcasting pulled him away from being a great director, and uh, perhaps he used some language that was maybe a little bit incendiary <laughs> to Kevin Smith. But Kevin Smith freaking hauled off and just gobsmacked Cargill from Mount Olympus. And then, uh, and then later, got, uh, you got invited to the, to the early screening of, of Red State. How did that go down? Uh, yeah, it was one of those things where he was inviting 50 bloggers to uh, attend an early screening of Red State. And uh, somebody on Twitter said, oh, you should have Mass of Worm on. He goes, oh, that would be hilarious. That'd be great. You know, nothing would drive home my point more that uh, I've let bygones be bygones than inviting somebody that I've uh, clashed with publicly. So, of course, Mass of Worm's invited. I'll understand if he doesn't want to come, but the ball's in his court. So be the, the big peener if, uh, if you didn't go. Yeah, right. so uh, sure enough, I called my boss. He okayed the flight out there, and I, I went out and attended uh, the Red State screening, which was originally supposed to be at his house, then got moved to the Smod Castle, and ultimately was uh, rather, uh, 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 rather intelligently moved to a neutral location at a screening room, and uh, we all saw it in a, in a regular movie theater. So before we dive in, and, and we got to get started here pretty fast, I do want to say one thing. Uh, number one, Cargill, I asked him how the movie was. He says, oh, no, it's great. It might, it, it's probably his best work he's ever done. And I had heard some good buzz about Red State. But between you and me, I am such a fan of Smodcast. I mean, I like, I like Kevin Smith's movies uh, just fine. But, like, I was really excited about seeing him talk live and seeing, essentially, a version of, of live Smodcast. Uh, and so I kind of viewed the movie as the price of admission to get to the live portion. And I was blown away at how wrapped up into it, like, and, and you probably saw me tweet that out. Kevin Smith sat right behind me, and I thought this would be great. I'll find some small, you know, some brief pause in the movie, and I'll lean back and I'll tell him about Twit and what we're doing over here and how we'd like to have him on the show. Never got the opportunity because I was so sucked in. And in fact, there's one moment that's sort of a everything's like pressure building, and then there's a release moment. And when I went to go to the bathroom after that, there was no lie, like 18 guys in a line because nobody <laughs> wanted to leave. Before, before this very significant event in the first act happens. I'm sure Cargill knows what it is. But regardless, looking forward to it, let's get to the meat, Mr. Justin Robert Young. Uh, yes, well, Brian, play the video. What video, sir? The video that you have for the intro. Oh, that you this said video? You're ready to play. Okay, all right. One year ago, five men divvied up that summer's movies and bid on them for a fantasy auction. They watched the returns, and it was Brian Brushwood who reigned supreme forever. Or so he thought. Tonight, Brian must begin the defense of his crown against three new competitors. Tom Merritt, Masterworm himself, Cargill, Ray Gun 01, Jason Howe. 
Begins now. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. That was <laughs> probably just end the show right there. That was really that good. Is, Thanks everybody. That was a great night. night. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was Sarah Lane as the ballerina. <laughs> Yeah, you kids. Uh, the, the big laugh that went up was because uh, Sarah Lane was uh, pictured as Sarah Lane, the uh, the famous black swan ballerina body double who's been in the news. So awesome. uh, she, she had to just stick to dancing and shut her trap. All, <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's, let's waste no more time. We've talked about this uh, on, on frame rate. If you want to go download our pregame show for this, here's how it goes, folks. We all have 100 uh, dollars in our accounts and fantasy dollars. We're going to go down and go bid on each and every one of these movies. Uh, we will build our stables, and this will begin the summer of, or the second ever summer fantasy movie league. Uh, let's begin with Source Code. Okay, now keep in mind, Source Code here is a movie where it's uh, it's very matrixy. You got uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. You have a lot of the hallmarks that you associate with big movies. Uh, Tom had some opinions about this. So did Sarah Lane. Let's go ahead and open up the bidding at, what do you say, uh, at, at one Brian Buck. Who will give me one Brian Buck? I'll give you one uh, NSF to Bloom. That's my okay, well, I'll, you know what? I'll just up it. I'll go straight to five. Five Brian Bucks for Source Code. I'm, I'm opening no, it's first. You, it's you betting. That's me betting. I'm saying five Brian Bucks. Anyone? S six Quatloos. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll do seven Brian Bucks. Going once? Going eight, twice? Eight Justin Robert Rubles. Uh, nine Brian Bucks. Going once? Man. Going twice? Steep. Mm. Sold for nine Brian Bucks right off the gates. I don't know if Thanks. source code is going to be any good, but I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay, next up we got... Uh, this is the medieval uh, stoner comedy with uh, with the guy from Eastbound and Down, um, Franco, Danny McBride, right? Uh, Natalie Portman, the, the the talking double for Sarah Lane, Natalie Portman and Black Swan. Um, <laughs> All right, let's open the bid at what? Uh, say four, four Brian Bucks, just Robert Rubles. Anyone uh, four? No, I'll go two, two. I'm going two, just Robert Rubles. All right, I'll go. I'll just <laughs> four All right, Brian I'll go Bucks. Six. I'll six. go one. Uh, seven Brian Bucks for for your highness. Um, I'll Eight. do ten. Oh, Whoa! Sarah. Sarah Lane with the power bid for ten for your ten, highness. Ten Lira Lanes. <laughs> I think it looks good, and I think others will agree with me. Ten. Seven. All right, that's yeah, ten. Lira Lane Lira. That's a good one. Ten, ten Lane, Lane Lira. Lira it, boys. Boys. I'm gonna do. I'll do. I'll do eleven Penny Pennies for it. Um, I'm doing uh, twelve o dollars. Twelve o dollars for, wow. for your highness? Yeah. All right. Anyone? Fourteen lira. Fourteen. Wow. <laughs> Get out of town. I'm out. Uh, you know what? I will go. I'll. I will go fifteen on your highness. I'll say your oh! highness. 15. fifteen. Fifteen. I Brian like that Buck you said I'll go fifteen on your highness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're at fifteen. Log once. Going twice. Sold to Brian Brushwood for 15. Hey. <sighs> All right. Uh, next up, we've got Arthur. This is, um, uh, what, what's, a, what's, a, what's a guy's name? The Brit? The Brit? Uh, Russia, Wait. Russell Brand. He's running around. He's pretending to be yeah. Dudley Moore. And, uh, I don't see Arthur on the, uh, on the sheet. Uh, well, you it's, need to update right there, your sheet. under your sir. highness. We, we, uh, uh, because remember, we found out. You've added in movies. Apollo 18 got moved. Right. To so uh, Arthur's taking its place. Okay, I get it. I get yeah. it. There you go. All right, All right, so Arthur, if you're a fan of 80s comedies remade by lesser incarnations of the people who made those comedies <laughs> famous, then perhaps Arthur here in 2011 is the movie for you. We will open the bidding for Arthur at 0.25, Justin Robert Rubel. <laughs> a quarter of a Rubel. I'll go I'm one, one Bonnie and Visibil. Justin says five. What was that, Tom? Oh, he outbid me already. <laughs> he can have it. Uh, you can't get away with having it for five, dude. Anybody? Anybody? I'll, I'll give you six. I'm not going to let you. And I'm seven, highly seven, encouraging seven, everyone else. Rubles. How much? Seven. Oh, I mean, I'll go eight. But I'm telling you guys, this is a, don't let this happen. This is, this is BS. I mean, I'll go, I'll go ten, Lyra. 
but I'm not going to be happy about it. Ten lane Lyra. I'll I'm go. Out. Back. Uh, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, see, you know, this is where I've got to kind of step in and say you guys really need to, I want you to blow your money early so that I can clean up at the end, but but seriously, you guys have just seriously high bid on two comedies opening on the same weekend. You guys are really excited about this early <laughs> summer. Oh, but, but the problem is, okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thinking about it. You've got, by the numbers, there, we should each Who's get... Who's got the high bid right now? Sarah Lane does. I'll, I'll go 11. I'll go 11 on Arthur. All right, going <sighs> once, going twice, sold to Brian for Again. 11. Okay. Now, the, the, the so thing Brian's is, bought shit. everything so far. Yes. <laughs> Brian, Brian has just bought the opening weekend of summer. <laughs> I, I it, both. He owns two opening weekends. You own you own the the, the Baltic Avenue uh, yeah. of Napoli. Hey, but, dude, <laughs> I've won games on Baltic Avenue. I will have you know, sir. <laughs> this is no. This is uh, you don't need. You mock me now, all but right, I'm telling all right. you. All right, rating champion. Well, let's go to Scream Four. The bidding starts at one. I will bid three for Scream Four. Five spill bills. Six. Five. Oh, who had six? Me. Six merit at, marks. All right, merit marks. There you go. I'm saying seven. <sighs> oh, I'll go eight, Lyra. Eight lane, Lyra. I'm going ten. Eleven uh, ray gun rupees. I will. How many? Eleven, eleven. ray gun rupees. Oh, uh, eleven? Yeah. Are you just going to buy every movie until you run out of money? You I'm can't gonna help 12. yourself. <laughs> I'm going to go twelve. I'm going to go twelve Brian bucks. Twelve? Going once. Going no. twice. Thirteen no. Fapper Franks. No. No. Wait, oh. what's that? I, I feel like I got in there at the end for thirteen Fapper Francs, but I okay. don't know. 13, okay, so okay. it's at thirteen, 13 Fapper Francs. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen Fapper Francs. There we go. Sold to Ray. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you don't get to, you have to do another. You don't just say if he gets in last second, you don't suddenly yeah. give it to him. <laughs> Isn't that the point of doing the last second thing? No. no. I was just trying to get it in there before it was done. All right. 13. All right, so it's 13. <laughs> one for 14? I, I, Come on, girl. I, I do. Go ahead. Want. Spend all your money, buddy. Come on. Oh, Monopoly brushwood. I, I do. You? I do want it for 14 francs. I'm going to have 14, 14 oh dollars is way. 14. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Cargill, or is that just a disapproving wave, or are you trying to get in on it? <laughs> that was a disapproving wave. Come on, <laughs> seriously, we're still in April, and Brian is almost out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying this Look, all. look, look, he saying. likes to play the game. Yeah. We need to realize that it's going to be easy to bid him up, so just keep, you know. Or, all right. Yeah, so it's 14. 14 to, to me. Anyone? Anyone? I say you guys let him hang, hang him out to dry. Let him yeah. just spend himself exactly. dry. Exactly. Exactly. Carve up the rest of the summer. Yes. Well, considering the fact that Ray Gun One just got another two uh, two uh, pieces out of him for nothing, <laughs> uh, going once, going <laughs> twice, sold. Brian Brushwood again bought a movie in April. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I own the entire month of April. It's one way to do it. People in the, people in the chat room are pointing out that DVD sales by the end of the summer don't count for this game. <laughs> <laughs> We move on to Fast Five, the fifth movie in the oh, Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, the bidding will start at one, and I will bid seven. Mm. I'll bid ten. Fifteen debit daddy dollars. You guys are nuts. I'm not bidding any, anything about uh, that. Dude, I'll, I'll do 16 for sure. What? Easily. <laughs> How much money do you have left? Can we get it standing? Uh, yeah, dude, I have $51 remaining. It says so right here. <laughs> there you go. Brian has 51 Brian bucks remaining. Okay. And each of you guys have 100 bucks. Okay, I'll go 17. I'll, I'll go, go 18. 18. I'll go 19. 20, Tomas Talonas. <laughs> 20 bucks for Fast Five. Can anybody beat Ray Gun 01 for 20? Dude. <sighs> Come on, Brian. You can own, if you buy this, you own all of April. <laughs> it is April is the right <laughs> month. Um, okay, no, but then I'll, no, no, no. April, April, April. April. Clean sweep, hey, Brian. What? Actually, I I will I'll do twenty one. I'll do, I'll I'll do twenty one. Twenty one. Enjoy your hundred and fifty million box office, Brian. What's that? Said enjoy your hundred and fifty million box office. Total. That's what I'm saying. 
dude. For no, 20, total. 50 million? That's, that's, that's <laughs> easily. That's 21. Yeah, 21. Anyone? We're, going once. Going twice. Nope. So, the Brian Brushwood, <laughs> Mr. April. Because, why? because you don't understand. I have bought up. Like, I'm, I'm going to start explaining what's going on right now. Is you guys have let the, the average <laughs> price per movie should be $22, $23. And I, I've got mine, all of mine, for under the average price of the movie for this point. I'm going to, I won last time because I bought the most movies. Okay. Well, yeah, but this time you bought the most movies up front. Last time you bought them spread out throughout the summer and got a few surprise hits. You're actually, you've got one weekend, you're actually competing with yourself. We'll see. Well, yes. no. All right. Now, 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 here we go. Let's just move right along. Here's the first big heavyweight of the draft, Thor. I will start the bidding at 10 Justin Robert Rubles. Oh, get out. You jump to 20 or get out. I'll say 22. 20 do you have 20? Yes, I do. I'm sure. How much do you have? You must have twenty-four dollars left. No, it says here I have thirty dollars, sir. <laughs> thirty Brian Bucks remaining. Wow. Sir. I believe Tom has twenty-two. I heard that. Yeah, that's Tom's twenty-two. 22. To Tom. All, All right. right, I'll do twenty-three. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. No. Nah. Nobody's mm. jumping in. Uh, Wait, you, do not let him mm. have this movie for twenty-three. Mm. This is once. crazy. No, 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 no. You don't no, understand. Twice. Wolverine made $150 million. No, 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 no. no. For $22. I am kind of thinking oh, that maybe that was a little him. low. He wants it. Let him have Thor. <laughs> anyway, by the way, how much did you pay for Fast Five, Brian? 21 Fast Five is going to make, uh, look, uh, first of all, uh, Wolverine made $150 million, <laughs> and Fast Five, all the Fast movies that made over $150 million. Okay. Uh, an and untried. Two more Justin Robert Rubles, I got Thor in your mouth. Okay. Let's start with Priest. I guarantee you. Hey, you know what? Side wager, I guarantee you Fast is going to make more than Thor, for sure. You are on. For like, sure. Dog. All right. Next all one right. on the docket. You guys are uh, high. You're crazy. Okay, priest, uh, priest. I, I'll tell you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It starts at one, but I'm not betting anything. Three dollars. I'll, I'll, I'll put five on priest. Six. Five for Sarah Lane. I'm six priest. for priest. No. Six, six for six Jason Hell. No, 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 six, no, no, no. Oh, six for for Tom Merritt. Six for Tom Merritt. It is not uh, me though. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll go ten. Ten for priest. <laughs> ten Lane Lira for priest going once. Going twice. Sold. Ten. Yay! You're it's on the board. You're on the board. It's, it's a priest, that priest kills that's gonna be worth more. Yes. You're telling me that priest is going to be worth more than freaking Ar uh, uh, Arthur or um, uh, what was the other one? Source code? More Pri worth, worth more than source code? Oh. What'd you spend on source code? Nine dollars. That's going to be the. That's going to be the. And that's the only bargain you took. That's the Clash of the Titans of this whole year, bro. You watch. Don't you watch. mess with Catholicism, Brian. Just and, don't. And work. don't mess with 3D. That's right. I'm saying. <laughs> and doesn't hurt. Uh, the Kristen <laughs> Wiig comedy Bridesmaid. Uh, bidding starts at five. I'll take five. Five for Bridesmaid. Six. I'll go I got ten. six. Oh. I'll take ten. And Lyra. Twelve oh, bonnet visibles. Twelve, chick, huh? twelve, twelve. Twelve from Ray Gun yeah. mm -hmm. Uh I'll uh I'll bump it up to fourteen with maids. I've been a bridesmaid a few times, so I know how this goes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, all I right, fourteen. All. Anybody got an answer? I'll Who's got an answer for fourteen? Fifteen. Brian? Fifteen. Fifteen. Brian says fifteen. <laughs> he might go out with this one. <laughs> That's fine. Let's do it. 15 there, for Bridesmaids. Uh, uh, 17. 15? 17 Lane Lyra. 17 Power Bid. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. You know what? I'm going to say. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no. I'm going to say you can have it. <laughs> Seventeen going once, going twice. Brian, one more try. Chat room, is, chat room suggests I go all in. I don't know why I'm not doing it. But for some reason, I'm not. I don't understand. But I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm staying out. Seventeen. So 17. thirty for bridesmaids. Playing bridesmaid. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Thirty dollars. <laughs> That's all in, right? 
Thirty dollars. Oh, is it? Yeah, it probably is. Ah, thirty-one. Thirty-one gill bills. Gill bills. <laughs> Yes, 31 card gill bills. 35, 35 chat realm checks. Uh, 36 oof. gill bills. You, got to hype. you don't go at least 45 mm. to 50 on this thing. This thing's going to make 300 to 400 million dollars. No, guaranteed. It's, I'll go it's, 37. It's money in the bank. 38, Tom. 40 gill bills. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Cargill's See, Cargill's playing it like a man. He knows what he's up to. 40, anybody going to top 40? Or is it Shiver Me Timbers for Cargill? <laughs> going once. Going 43, twice. Sarah Shekels. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my huh? Steve's on the high seas. Boom. Boom. Sarah Shekels is the win. <laughs> oh, well, wait a second. How can you use Sarah Shekels? Are I the only person who could use Sarah Shekels? This is a very confusing uh, draft. <laughs> uh, look, it's all the same currency. I, I think it's, we're pretty clear at the beginning. You you spend Brian Bucks, so let's just keep on going. What What's the bidding at, Justin? Right. 43. Cargill, you got a 44 on this? 44, y'all. Oh. Yeah! Oh, 44 man. to Cargill, Jason Howell. Are you a man or are you a muscle? Are you man, all clammed up, up on this one? hidden at the bottom of the sea? Ray, Living. where's your courage? And Living in all the fish locker? poop, wishing that you could swim free like a like a 47, 47, fine, I'll do it. Oh, 47, 47 rupees. All right, all you, go. baby. Going once, going twice. So, yeah. who's not a muscle living out the ocean? Guess who's a fat-free dolphin. That is money in the bank at the beginning of the summer. It's going to be playing all summer long. That's money in the bank right there. Sure. No, of course. I'm sure that makes a lot of sense somehow. Uh, <laughs> Whatever, mister. I've hardly got any uh, Bonnie and Visibils left to spend. Uh, okay. All right. You don't need to make this personal. Let's talk about the hangover part two. I don't know if you guys know this, but the hangover uh, made a few bucks. Hangover made some money, apparently. Yeah. So let's yeah. start the bidding at... Um, I say two dollars and fifty shekels. So I 12. will say twelve. Twelve dollars. I'll say fifteen. Fifteen right here. Seventeen. Uh, Twenty. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, you know what? Thirty Brian bucks. All in. <laughs> Thirty-one. Oh, oh, let him spend his money. <laughs> <laughs> I almost just want Brian out of the game. <laughs> All right, 31, Lane Learham. Anybody got anything up on that? Dude, this will be the buy of the season. This movie's going to yeah, make at least $300 million because the first oh, one up. made uh, 400 It's going to suck. All right. All right. 31, going once, going <laughs> twice, 32. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did oh. you, all, you say going once, going twice, and then give your own bid in there? Is that really what happened? <laughs> he sure did. All right. <laughs> Let me just say one thing about this freaking movie. Let me find the original comps here. Um, hang, the original Hangover did $277 million, which is exactly what two of the Harry Potter movies did as well. You have a chance to buy a Harry Potter. You guys are holding off, waiting to spend 80 bucks on your Harry Potter going movie. Going once. Dude, don't listen to him. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is it up to now? At 32 bucks. Are you really going to oh, win? Go, 33 is okay with me. I could do 33. Yeah! 34. Oh, come on. 35. <laughs> <laughs> going once, going twice, so old to Sarah Lane. <sighs> Hangovers are my thing, man. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, well, that's a good one. Sarah Lane. Sarah Lane going all in on comedies this year. Uh, also coming out, Kung Fu Panda 2. Uh, let's start this at, I'll give $5. Five Brian Bucks. 10, Tom. 15, Justin. 20, Brian. 25, Tom. 25, Tom? 26, 26 Justin. 28, Brian. 29, Justin. Brian, what you got? <laughs> I've got 30, Brian Bucks, for Kung Fu Panda 2. 31. <laughs> Tom? Do 
you want to know what? Do you want to know what the first Kung Fu Panda made? Do you want to know going once? Okay, you better you do going twice. The original Kung Fu Panda made three hundred and twenty-two million dollars. So wait, no, I'm sorry, two hundred and fifteen million. Oh, oh, you tried to tried to spike it right there. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I actually, I was looking at Shrek <laughs> third, which would be more comparable because the sequel is going to make more money than the original. In fact, this is a great mm. buy on Justin's part. Yeah, thirty-one. That was it. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, we move along to X-Men First Class. The superheroes are back, folks. 25 uh, car gold. 25 car gold? Car right gold. off the bat. Really? <laughs> really? That's crazy, man. Um, no, I, actually, I actually believe this is a sleeper. This is a major sleeper. All right, 26 Brian Bucks. 29 car gold. <laughs> you know that what? That was polite. 30 Brian Bucks. 30 Uno Car Gold. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, 31 going once. 37. It's in the 1960s. Wait, what'd you say, Tom? 37. Whoa! 37. Oh. Gosh darn dollars. Are you kidding me, Tom? For reals? I'll do 40. Wow! <laughs> 41. <laughs> what? And I remind everybody that Matthew Vaughn's kick ass made 14 cents at the box office. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. But even Wolverine, the, the worst of the series, as Brian's already mentioned, made 150 domestic. That's what I'm saying. I, I think this is a solid bet. Anyone? Where, where are we at now? I believe 41, right? 41? Yeah, he did 41. Yeah, I'm going to let him keep it. All 41? Right. 41 40, going once. 41 twice. And sold to Tomas Marie for 41. Tom, Tom tic Tickles. Tom Tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Three tickles I, I do. For <laughs> uh, the Green Lantern. I'll give this one $5. Green Lantern, $5. Right uh, here. Yeah, I'll give it 15 15 Wait, Did we skip Super 8? Yes, we did. Let me go oh, back to mind. Super 8. I right, know. So, let's, let's do Green Lantern. Then yeah, we'll we're already going on Green right. Lantern. Super right, 8, right. I'm going to yeah. open the bidding at $30. <laughs> $30 for Super 8. No, wait, hold on. Oh, oh you're, bidding, you're bidding $30. I'm Super bidding $30. Eight. We're opening the bidding such, at $30. You are such a maximum fug, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> 31. Uh, going what? Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm out. You know what? We really, we really need to let Brian have one of these so yeah, we can so stop done. letting him bid it up to thirty every totally, time. Totally, totally. Exactly. Well, uh, wait. Okay, first of all, you guys are crazy if you let Justin Robert Young get this for thirty-one dollars. This no, is no, no, for no, 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 that was Tom. I'm bidding thirty-two. This is a four hundred million dollar movie. This is the inception of the year. Thirty-two. If going it's once. good. No. 32 you, going twice. You would not dare. 33. Oh, 34. 35. 36. <laughs> 37. You guys can count. Okay. 30 super eight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that. Uh. Going once. 38? No, come on. Going twice. Everybody in the chat room is going to buy it because it's so oh, cheap. Oh, to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Really? I'll tell you what. I'm going to have to break this out from last year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm uh, now feeling like I overspent on Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> that one. You right think? There. You maybe, think maybe, maybe I uh, may, maybe got a little bit overspend early mm -hmm. summer? Maybe a little bit, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. But all I know is that was a... Oh. Knockout steal for Justin Roberts. I Kelly. can't believe you guys let him have Super 8. Like, the single most anticipated movie of the whole summer for $32? No. $38? What was it? What did you get it for? 38 I got it you for know, 38 it's, 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 The thing about Super 8 is Super 8 is the single most anticipated movie for geekdom of the summer. Uh, it It is not going to do as big as some of the other ones we've talked about or some of the other ones coming up. I, if it's really, really good, I would love it to be the Inception of the summer, but it doesn't have the huge audience that Inception had coming into it with the Dark Knight title above it. 
Um, even Star Trek, which I adore, uh, did really well, but not to the level that The Dark Knight did. I don't know that J.J. Abrams is going to carry this carry this in and, and do uh, uh, playing in, in, in the, the ballpark of several of the other things, even Pirates of the Caribbean. It's got it's got Spielberg stink over it. How about a little movie above the title called E.T.? Not enough? How about Goonies? Not enough? How, yeah, about, uh, how, how about, about Minority Report? How about War of the Worlds? Oh, how about Felicity? This, this looks like an 80s movie, and everyone's going to think it you, is. You just got served, son. All right, it's uh, Green Lantern now. I will open the bid at 15 Brian Bucks. I'll do 25. What? 25? But you let Thor go for like two dollars and a and a scratch on the neck. Uh, it's got Ryan Reynolds. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I, I hear that. Twenty-five yeah. to card for Green Lantern. <laughs> Going once. Twenty-six. Whoa! Was that Tom? I'll do yeah. thirty. Thirty. Ooh. That's my number. <laughs> you should match yeah, him. Yeah, you should tie him. I'll split it with you. We'll go 30 each. <laughs> we want to go halvesies? Uh, okay, anyone else? Wait, wait, so what, are we at 30 and that's it? 30 going once? Hey. Thir wait, 30 what? 30 car gold. Oh, 30 car gold. Going once, going twice. Sold to Cargill for $30. Wild. All right, cars two. I will open the bid at uh, my own 30 Brian Bucks for, for God, Cars it, 2. I hate you. Yeah. What? What? 30. I'm saying Cars 2 is going to make money. I give 30. Going once? 31 Jose Hubegels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just let him uh, get out for the love of God. <laughs> not with Cars 2. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there, okay, so, so it's 31 to Jason Howell. 31. Hmm? Going uh, once. 32. Hmm. 32 okay. marks. 32, 32 to 32 to, to Tom Merritt. Merritt marks. Anyone? 32? Come on, Jason. This thing's a gold mine. You want, do you even want to know what the original made? I think I have an idea. Uh, but no, I don't want to know. I'll go 34 young yen. Dude, $244 million cars one made. And guess what? Sequels often do better than the originals. That was the case Often. for Transformers, and that was a turd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, it's to you, Merritt. You, no, you're going to let him have it? Yep. Sarah? All right, going no. once? Going no. twice? So! Yeah! Dude, you punched the, you punched the microphone. You so I punched excited. the microphone with my massive bicep right there. True. <laughs> All right. What do we got next, Justin? What's going on? All right. We have cars. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Now, 40 uh, Gil Gold. How many? Oof. 40. 40. Dang. Right up Holy the Holy poo. I can't even match that. I'm out. 45. What? Oh. What? What? <laughs> Hey, so somebody want to, hey, Brian, you want to tell them what the domestic on Transformers 2 was? Uh, yeah, the domestic on Transformers 2, I'm calling it up right now, which, by the way, you can see on the document, there's a place where you could click on the movie and you click on similar movies. The original Transformers was $319 million, and Transformers, the movie in 1980s, made $6 million. That's what you meant, right? No, 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 Transformers 2. Revenge of the Fallen made four hundred million dollars. <laughs> Megan Fox, and that was a movie with robot testicles. This yeah. one and is Ace's supposed robot. to be better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. I do want to point out that the Pie High Dog tweeted me saying that I'm higher than he is. <laughs> uh, okay, what are we at? Four forty-five. Yep, fifty. What I bid. What? what? Now this was this was the the dangerous the dangerous zone that I got into last time bidding for Iron Man two last year. That was was my, my albatross. Fifty bucks Cargill <laughs> for Transformers: Dark of the Moon. Going once, going twice. 
So Here, total tip bargain. My hat. Yeah. Total bargain. If if Here, you if I had it on, so I can tip it. Uh, Larry Crown, starring uh, Tom Hanks and uh, Julia Roberts. Roberts. I'll do ten bucks. Ten Brian bucks. Fifteen. Really? For a sad rom com? Well, wait, wait. going once, fifteen going twice. Hmm. Fifteen for Larry Crown. Wow. The zookeeper. The zookeeper. <laughs> it's the zookeeper. Is what starring is. Kevin James and a host of people talking like animals. It's the zookeeper. Is what it is. The zookeeper. <laughs> zookeeper. The zookeeper. Uh, I'm gonna start that bidding at three. Uh, I'll give three. Three for this well, guy. No, I already said three. You can't also say. <laughs> oh, you said you can't stop bidding at three. <laughs> You know what? I'll give you seven right off the top. <laughs> All right, eight. I'll give you eight. I'll give you ten. All of a sudden, I'm regretting this decision. <laughs> 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 Zookeeper, sir. This is actually not a bad, not a bad bargain. Going once, twice, three times, three the ladies. Times the the lady. Zookeeper, <laughs> ten. What was the domestic on, on Paul Plart? I don't remember because we're on to the next one. <laughs> Deathly Hollows, Harry Potter, oh, part man. two, Here the last of the Harry Potter series. Justin Robert Young, I'm going to allow you to give the first bid. What's your first bid for this movie? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say $5. <laughs> You're like, it's a terrible I movie. Eight, it's going to go dollars. nowhere. $8? Yes. All right. Eight dollars for Deathly Hollows. I'll, Going once. I'll, I'll, I'll go ten. Uh, I'll go ten. Oh, oh, you'll do oh. ten for Deathly Hollows. All right. Yeah. Ten to eleven. Whoa. Once. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven going once. Uh, eleven and a half. Twelve. Eleven and a half. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll go twenty. Let me just bump this up. <laughs> twenty for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, the last of the Harry Potter series. Twenty-one 20. billion dongs. Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, what 25 are we billion dongs. 25, 25 billion dongs. Anyone else? Yeah. Wait, you're not going to let her have it at 25? This movie's going to make 350, 400 billion dollars. It's the last of it. But you still got 30 left. I'll bid her. Yeah. No, I don't. No, no, he's at 20. No, he's just, got 20. Oh, got, oh, that's right. I forgot. You got Zookeeper. 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 27 Zook penny pounds. All right. Uh, 30. There you go. <laughs> there you this go. thing should be this. I can't believe this isn't going for 50. This is guaranteed money in the bank. Is it? Going once. Going twice. Wait, for oh, how much? Man, wait, this, this needs. Wait, wait, 30? $30. You just said going once, going twice. How many times are you going to stop and say that again? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh that is. That's for the crazy. last of the Harry Potter series. Yeah, that's pretty that's crazy. Insane. You're insane. If only I wish I'd have held on to my penny pounds. Spent all their money on source code up front. <laughs> As I only bought nine dollars on source code. You seem to forget this, sir. I'd gladly. And as take good as it is, that's all it's gonna make. <laughs> Uh, Captain America, the first oh, Avenger. I cannot a, believe that was Sarah a bargain Fox. right there. Death yeah. Hollows for thirty. That is the yeah. Inception play of this whole thing. That's everyone who plays at home is going to be putting that in there. Uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, I'll start the bidding at twenty dollars right here. Me, twenty bucks. I love superheroes. Come on, I, and now I regret that decision as well. <laughs> going once, <laughs> going twice. And apparently I'm now out of money because I just bought Captain America for $20. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, I'm going to let you take over now because I'm Yeah, there cash. we go. All right, well, uh, it's uh, Cowboys and Aliens, the John Favreau film. Uh, I'm going to start the bidding at five. I'll do 10. I'll do 12. I'll do 15. 15's the high bid right now. Captains and Aliens starring Harrison Ford and James Bond. Going once. I'll do 16. 16 to Cargill. 17. 17 to Merritt. Do I hear an 18? Do I hear an 18? Do I hear an 18? I'll do 18. 
18 to Cargill. Going once. 19. All right, 19. Ray got all one. Can we get up to 20? Get up to 20, Cowboys and Aliens. I'll also go 20. With... Damn it. 20, Cargill. Cargill's got 20 on Cowboys and Aliens. You we are, are running out of bona fide hits, folks. You guys are crazy. 21. This movie for all the money you have. It's going to make a billion dollars. Guaranteed. 21 going once. 21 going twice. 21. So. Oh. Ray got no one. No, no, no. That was Cargill. That 21 was, was me. Oh, that was you. Never mind. Tom. <laughs> that was you, Tom. All right. I don't know anymore. Uh, All I know is I didn't get it. As, as we, uh, we are, are down into the dregs, Yes, folks. we are. Uh, Smurfs in 3D. No, no, we're, we're officially in the August releases, which is the dumping ground of summer. <laughs> yes, we are officially. Oh, no, no. This is still technically July, the Smurfs, uh, but not by much. Mm. All, All right. right, who's Smurfing got a Smurf bid? I got five. I got six. I got seven. I got eight. Smurfs? I got seven Smurfs. I got eight. Eight's the high bid. Eight. Who's got nine? Eight billion dongs on the Smurfs. I got nine. All right, we need ten. Who's got ten? Mm. Can't go above eight. Yeah. I won't Smurf myself for ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, this thing's gonna make fifty million easy. It's it's a base hit. Plus, you got too Brian, much money. You say that about every single movie on this spreadsheet. Every movie that comes out this, this summer is gonna movie's make gonna million, take it all. Million. Are you crazy? That's my Brian impression. Dude, I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to shave off the top of my head. I need to have sound effects. I'm gonna call it Mad Movies with Brian. I'm like, <laughs> I say it's a buy murder. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody knows that's not the buy sound effect. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Uh, what was the high bid? Who had the high bid on nine. this? Nine dollars. Nine dollars to Tom Merritt. I think it's a steal at nine. Going once, going twice. Who's got ten? Nobody. Tom Merritt smurfed a smurfing smurf for nine smurfs. <laughs> uh, the darkest hour. A movie about a bunch of nonsense. I'm going to start the bidding at one. Two. Three. Three. I'll go five. You I got, got six. You got five on it? Yep. <laughs> six. Mm. Six. Six. Going once. Seven. Going once. Going twice. Eight. Well, I'm out. Going once. Yeah. Going twice. It's for eight dollars, really. So, to me. <laughs> Darkest. Oh, you guys are crazy. What, uh, what is our, our running total here right now? And I'm officially out of money. Well, right. you can see. Okay, so now yeah. Justin's out too. Now, let me point out right now. Let's take a quick break here because we're about to show the. Re we're about to finish things up here real quick. If we could take before we wrap up the strategy, let me just explain. Between two guys who have already lost all their money, look, I got Source Code, Your Highness, Arthur, Scream, <laughs> Fast Five, Zookeeper, and Captain America. That's seven movies. How many did you get, Justin? You got, got Thor, Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda, I Super Eight. I can't believe you got Super Eight. You may yeah. win actually because of Super Eight. Darkest Hour is, is BS. That's that's yes. nothing. That dude. was I needed to spend eight dollars. Yeah, I can't believe you got anything for eight dollars. That's why I I overpaid for Captain America because there was so much money left in the system. I thought for sure that I wouldn't even be able to buy anything with twenty. Uh, okay, all right. So now we're back in, we're in the home stretch here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's go as fast as we get on this as we're wrapping things up. The darkest, or sorry, uh, Rise of the Apes. The James Franco infused apes prequel. The bidding starts at one. Five. Six. Six. Oh. Eight. Uh, I said six I first. Cargo. So it's I'll six do nine. Six. Nine. Damn. I like the way Merit. Tom yanked his hands down once once he heard the word nine. He was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> okay, who had the high bid at nine? Cargill. Nine that would be me. A steal at that. Nine dollars is a good value. All right, that's <clears throat> nine going once. Ten. Ten to Merit. <sighs> Merit, ten. Go to once. Go to once. Sold. Rise of the Tomases. Wow. <laughs> Ten dollars. All right. That's not bad. The change up. 
The that's change a, up started some switching. guy and some other guy switching yeah. places. Switch with bodies. Each other. They switch bodies. Trading places, the movie. Here we go. Uh, let's start the bidding at what? $5. Who will give, we'll give $5 for this? I'll give 5 Why do we have to start at 5 for the end of the summer movie? Yeah, seriously, why One, are we starting at 5 Who will give me month? 5 cents for this movie? 5 Brian cents. I will. <laughs> who will give me a dollar for the movie? I will. <laughs> <laughs> who will give me two dollars for the movie? Sarah's got a dollar. Who's got two? Yeah, you know it's Jason Bateman. I'll I'll do two. Sure. <laughs> Are you guys crazy? Two dollars for the change up. There's only two movies left here, folks. Uh, all right. Two going once. No three. way. You're not gonna get a movie for two. Four. I three. Said three. Four. Okay. Oh, Caroline says three. Three going once. Five. Four. Damn. Uh, five. five to Sarah. Lear. Finally, we're getting to grown-up money. Lane Lira throwing around. And keep in mind, Sarah's position to win. Somebody needs to. You need to block her out. Make sure she gets she gets no more movies, gentlemen. Going once. Well, that there is you. not very chivalrous. I'm sorry. What I mean is, you should let her win <laughs> and lay her coats down. Let the Sarah win. <laughs> So you want what? me to win, boys? I that. That's insane. Yet another comedy for Sarah Lane. <laughs> oh my I God. love to laugh. She certainly does, folks. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, the remake of the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger. And can I point out that nobody? Five. I've heard nobody say Conan since Conan O'Brien. Conan, become... <laughs> Conan the Barbarian. We all yeah, call him true. Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. All right, uh, so five. we're at five Cargill for Conan. Ten. How much is that point, piece of insight worth to you folks? Uh, five, five bucks? Five just ten. Ten. It's worth ten, ten bucks. Ten How much do you have left? Uh, the reigning totals right now, here's what is remaining. We have $4, $3, $20, and $19 remaining. Jason has, oh, wow, Cargill, you could just take this. You could just say right now, 20 bucks, and it'll be over. How much? Uh, what, what's the bid right now? It's ten. It's a ten, yeah. Ten. It's a ten. And who's got it? That would be me. Uh, Jason. Jason. Jason has ten. Jason, and Jason has twenty bucks. This is this is awesome because he's thinking game theory here. You can see it on his face. He's trying to figure out well, how he's going to make what, this you work. Think fast. Going once. You better go. go I'll on. do eleven. Whoa! Eleven for Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Going once. Jason, are you going to let him have it? Going twice. It's Conan, it's an institution. No. So to Cargill. I don't want Conan. They're going to want and here's I want the Spy Kids. Women. All right. All right, so uh, now, now we're sure, down. Sure, we all want Spy Kids. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we do all want Spy uh, Kids. Yeah. Spy Kids, Quattro, all the time in the world. Is it, this is Rodriguez, right? Or yep, yep, yeah, yeah, it's Rodriguez. Rodriguez. You got a new batch of the Spy Kids. Spy Kids, the next generation. If you want to see Jean-Luc Picard as a kid wearing jet <laughs> boots in 3D, then this is the show for you. It's Spy Kids 4. Let's open the bid at what? A dollar, I guess. Yep. Two. Nine. Nine. What's nine. that? I mean, because like, nine. 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 We're at nine. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Is that it? Is that it? I don't know if anyone can outbid me on that. At this point. Ten once. So. I don't, yeah, I think that's it. Ten right. twice, and Jason Howell just bought it for ten. My kids uh, four. It's a kids movie. It's a kids movie, okay. and it's a kids movie that does pretty well every time. So, okay, so uh, this uh, I guess we're onto the what the la the very last one. Well, I guess we we should Nine know it's for Final Destination. Oh. Uh, I don't Argyle think anyone can outbid me. Final Destination. Can anyone beat nine? Actually, I can tie you for it. <laughs> No, you can't tie. I bid <laughs> no, first. That's, no, you're right. You're right. You're I'm right. gonna. Bid, I'll go in with you for it, Jason. Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh shoot! <laughs> no co-financiers. Damn it! No co-financiers. Damn it! You were one step ahead of me, Cargill. You say I no co-financiers. Why? No. But can, can Tom just give Jason the money? No. 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 no it doesn't work. Yeah. That All right. Work. Well, I guess Cargill gets Damn Final it. Destination Five. Then, wow. That was good well, strategy there, movies, Cargill. But they bring in money. No, they totally do. That was really good strategy. Bravo wow. on that one. Wow. Should have been faster uh, to wow. trigger that is, on that ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to remind all of you that we are playing this game for the handsome prize of $120. $120. <laughs>
Uh, which uh, I think that brings this episode of NSFW to a close. And unfortunately, like all fantasy football draft picking kinds of things, you're going to end on an unsatisfied note. But remember, you guys oh, can follow. You say it's suspenseful, Brian. Suspenseful. suspenseful. I'm sorry. Unsatisfied. Go, folks, That's... If you are not well, on the, on the right side, Brian, you get to know that you lose early. Ah. Uh... <laughs> We'll just see about that, sir. <laughs> I know that I'll be probably in first for at least a month, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> but meanwhile, that's it for this episode of NSFW. I want to give a huge thanks to Tomas Marit of Tech News Today fame, along with Frame Rate and a million other shows. Of course, the lovely and talented ballerina, Miss Sarah Lane. And uh, a little bit of a tip of the hat to Jason Howell. And I'm just going to bow down right now to our new overlord, the guy who's clearly going to run away with it, Mr. C. Robert Cargill, and of course my co-host, Justin Robert Young. Uh, anything else you want the nice people to know before we wrap things up, Justin? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Listen, the way that this game is fun for everybody is two things. Number one, uh, you're going to go on and uh, follow me and Brian on Twitter, uh, at Justin R. Young and at Schwood. Uh, so you can play your own version of the game. You're going to be able to mix and match your own team based on uh, the $100 uh, and the prices that we said. And also follow everybody here on Twitter. Uh, that's at Massaworm, at Sarah Lane, at Ace Detect, and at Raygun01. Uh, because this Zero is when one. things get fun, is as we make fun of Brian for flaming out in April, as we talk about uh, all the comedies that Sarah bought. This is when the league is funny, is when you follow all of, all of us on Twitter. And, and you so point out a good thing. That. I totally forgot to explain how you guys are going to play at home. The way you play at home is all of the prices are set. They're all posted right now at bit.ly slash NSFW Draft 2011. Go online. You can buy at the market rates that we have set. Pretend that we're the Fed. We've set the rates. You can construct your own team. What would you do if you knew all the prices were available at those prices? And then I want you to send them into NSFWshow at gmail.com. That's NSFWshow at gmail.com. You will be entered on the document. Make sure to include the name of your team. Be as clever, as creative as you want. And make sure to include your picks and how much money you spent on each because that is, of course, the established rates. And that is it for this episode of NSFW. We will see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. a form. Wait! Stop everything! <laughs> Stop everything! Stop everything! I said something totally wrong. Uh, there's a form. Apparently, you go to draft.nsfwshow.com. I'm just doing it. I just did it. So much for the beautiful <laughs> outro. It was, so it was so well orchestrated. Everybody got to wave goodbye and smile. And you're like, no! Stop! <laughs> Tony all right, all right, listen. I'll spoil. Let's just start it again. <laughs> From the top, people. I get all my money back. Five men. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you go to NSFW, draft.nsfwshow.com. Oh, is there a form on there that you can put yes, in? Yes, it's draft.nsfwshow.com. No, slash though. form. Oh, slash form. You can fill form. it out yourself. It's Got all it. live, and you'll be entered right <laughs> there. Hey, on the Brian, Jeez. there's a form. Is there? I don't know if you saw at uh, NSFWshow.com. I went to draft.nsfwshow.com and there was no form there. And I didn't realize you had to go to draft. Slash NSFW. form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what it looks like, people. If you go to uh, NSFW, uh, draft.nsfwshow.com or .com slash form, then you just put in the name of your team and your email address. And you will be, we do have to verify. Don't, don't be a douche and put in multiple email addresses. Let's play fair. Uh, this is all for fun. Besides, you don't get a piece of the... How much money is it again, Justin? Oh, I think that would be... $120. So you... Uh, and, and also, make sure that you wait a little bit. They're going to add the prices, I think. So yeah. you'll be able to add it up yourself yeah you'll be able to, you'll be able to put uh put that there and uh yeah so so make sure make sure to go to draft show.com slash form and of course you can follow along at draft uh dude that was a lot of fun and while you're laughing at me now no i'm not i'm actually laughing at, at sarah lane's malicious viral campaign to keep people out of the theaters during movies that she's competing against i'm kidding and why are you spying on me gosh get a life <laughs> <laughs> uh dude 
All I'm saying is I got the most movies again, and that worked out pretty well last time because you never know. No, Inception is. worked out pretty well last time, and you have no Inception this time. If you just had your I, log. I, I will back him up on that. There, you have no Inception. Well, that's what I was told last time when I had Inception. So we'll just see. <laughs> Who knows? No, last Sword time they said you had Inception because you had it, but they didn't understand the did. value of it. <laughs> the, the biggest, the biggest moneymaker was the first summer blockbuster of the season. That was bought for less than $10. That was Clash of the Titans, and it made a mint. Everybody wishes they had, they wished they had it. So I got to figure, I probably have the first big moneymaker. Because I, well, I spent... You, know, you, see, you don't have that either. Uh... Dude. I mean, the, your first big money maker is going to be Fast Five. That Fast Five will do you good. Zookeeper will do surprisingly well um, because his movies, no matter what, do well uh, because you know what, there are morons out there. And Captain America will do well, but the question is, will your other four movies be able to scrape together enough to equal one of the big ones that the rest of us have? Um, Am we'll I being see. mocked by a dolphin? You may be being mocked by a dolphin. I'm sorry, and a lewd. He makes me touch him. <laughs> Point on the dolphin where? <laughs> All right. 